Hey guys, welcome back to GP Automotive and Diecast. Well, today I bring you, well, quite a rare bird, the Motormax 118 scale Lexus LS430. So this is a very rare model, actually. Um, you don't see these, I don't believe there might be one on eBay, but as of, I think, about a week or a little less ago uh, that I checked, this was the only one that was on eBay. <clears throat> Excuse me, and uh, going b I'm going through a little bit of a cold, so if I, you know, clear my throat through the video, just excuse that. Um, but, uh, but yes, yeah, so I bought this model off of eBay, actually, like I said, um, and it was an auction, and I, you know, I won it, and uh, <clears throat> and it uh, came out to a total price of fifty dollars, and I was shocked that I got it for this much and uh, if you haven't noticed I noticed that maybe um, I don't care too much um, if this is the case and I think we can maybe fix it if we put some time and effort into it um, <clears throat> it is disappointing if it does actually come to what I might think it would be and um, well the wheel has um, fallen off um, and there's another one over there so um, We'll see what happens. I have no idea. I literally just got this and unboxed it, though. So, uh, first impressions, though, apart from that, I mean, the car still has its straps on it. It's in beautiful shape, the box-wise. It's no creasing. Uh, very fresh. Looks almost brand new, actually. Um, so, very surprising. The seller <clears throat> did a amazing job packing this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And... Um, they put, um, they uh, plastic wrapped it, and it was a uh, very neat and um, just shout out to the seller. Great job on his end with um, packing it. So it looks like it still has the original tape on it. So um, we'll go ahead and take that off. And it looks like yes, it is the original tape because it is not wanting to come apart because it's very old, obviously. Um, let's see. So like I said. You know, fifty-seven or fifty fifty dollars for one of these models is, I would say, a steal. These don't really come up often, and um, this was just the one I saw when I was you know, kind of just shopping along uh, eBay, uh, just seeing what I could find if there's any deals out there. And this one was kind of ending, I think, within like twenty-four hours or something like that. So you know, I put it on my watch list. I'm gonna set y'all down for a second. Put on my watch list, and I, you know, kind of watched the bidding, and I was a little worried because um, there was quite a lot of watchers on it. But um, evidently, I was, I think, the tenth bidder, and I somehow, um, I, I really, that's, I think it's only the second time I've ever bid on anything on eBay. So, you know, I'm not a pro at it or anything. Uh, I tell you one thing: this is a very stiff box. It's definitely never been opened. Um, so I don't know what happened to the wheels. <laughs> I don't know. It could be a thing they tighten the base too, uh, too tight or something, and it, yeah, I just, I hope whatever happens isn't bad. I'm going to try to get y'all on. Set y'all down another, another time again. Hold on, sorry about this. Okay, now it's coming out. Not want to come out first. Um, so here it is. Check and see if the. Okay, yeah. So the wheels are off. Um, okay. So. Okay, there you go. There's a sticker. I didn't notice that. So. Just so I'll, I'll try to get that off later. But. Um, uh, so you know I'm okay. So I looked at the rear axle and it looks like it's fixable. Now I don't want to, you know, make <laughs> make sure that it isn't fixable by saying that, um, but I think we can fix it. So um, I will make an update on that and my uh, full review of this um, car. Of course, this was the unboxing, and um, you know I'm very glad that I got this model for this price because it's just a crazy price. I mean. I was staggered that I could get it for this price. I mean, that's just such a good deal. $50. I think the last one that sold on eBay went for 
oh, I don't remember, but I think it was around hundred dollars or something or more. And um, you know, this is a model of it's it's actually rare, and it goes for money. So it's just kind of the double whammy of it's kind of hard to find these days. Um, and there's not a lot of information about these LS 430s out there. Um, there's a high-end company that makes one, um, and I think it's a resin model, but uh, those are about $250. And uh, you know me, I'm trying to find the good deal, and this is definitely one of them with uh, the you know $50 price tag. And uh, uh, obviously these wheels, we'll see if we can fix them. I think you can just pop these back on. So like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, update you all in the uh, next video um, if I got them back on or not. And I think, maybe just maybe, I think we could get it. Um, you know, back to its, uh, well, having four wheels instead of a two right now, but, um, I guess we'll go ahead and get that other one, yeah. They're not, it doesn't look like they're broken, so I don't really know what happened. It could be a manufacturer error, maybe the car was manufactured and, um, you know, something happened, I don't know. I don't know the story, but I can tell you one thing, this was the first time it's ever been out of the box, because this is the original tape after looking at it, actually, so, um, so yeah, that's pretty crazy, actually, um. Typical Motormax box, the Motorworks series, of course. But uh, so yeah, so I'll uh, I'll update y'all in the next video with um, you know what the update will be with these wheels if I can get them back on the car. Hopefully, I hope you know, I hope I can, and uh, definitely put in the comments down below what you think about this model and uh, uh, what do you think about the price I got it for, you know? Um, and if you have this model, I'm a big fan of this LS430. Um, one of my family members uh, family members owned the uh, exact replica of this car, the uh, tan interior with the pearl white, which is actually a beautiful color on this model. Exterior, and, uh, you know, kind of brings back some memories. And a uh, very, very cool car. And I also have the uh, LS400, um, so it's going to match that quite well. Um, so yeah, so I'm very happy I got this model. Like I said, put in the comments down below what you think about this purchase. If you like it, what you think about the car itself in real life or the diecast model, especially if you have it, because I'd be interested to know if any of y'all have this one. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I'll update y'all with these wheels and see if we can get them back onto the car. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the subscribe button for more content like this. We'll definitely, hopefully, continue for um, many years. And, uh, you know, hit the like button if you like the video. And, um... Yeah, just have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there, guys, and thank you so much for watching.